how to apply natural bridal makeup. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Makeup artist Lauren Dunn has teamed up with Dermalogica to show you how to create flawless natural makeup for your wedding day. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a nice natural bridal makeup on Marilyn today. I'm going to start off by using um, a Dermalogica treatment foundation, which is a really nice liquid foundation that just gives a nice even coverage without being too heavy. And just when you're applying just near to the um, jawline here, just make sure you blend right into the neck. And now I'm going to use an under eye concealer. And with this product, really less is more. So just take a little bit off the, with the brush and then just start to just pat gently onto the skin. So you never want to rub around the eyes because, um, because that's not good for the skin. And then also when applying eye concealer, just put a little bit in this area here in the corner because that's a quite a dark area. So after the eye concealer, I'm just going to use a bit of um, concealer. This is a Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. Apply with the brush and then just pat into the skin. And this is just to use on any areas of pigmentation or any little red areas. So now I'm going to use just a translucent powder and all I'm going to do is just press this into the area where I concealed and that will just help to set it and make it stay in place. And, then, and now I'm just going to do a really quick dusting all over the eyelid. Okay, now I'm going to use the same powder using a slightly bigger brush. I'm just going to use this on the T-zone just to take away any shine. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to use is a bronzer. This is a Bobbi Brown bronzer in light. So using quite a big brush, just push it around the bronzer. But also when you've done that, you want to just dust it off onto your hand. So you're getting the minimal amount left on the brush. You just want to kind of bring it around from the forehead, down just under the cheekbones. So it's kind of like a back to front three almost. Next product I'm going to use is cream blusher. This is a MAC one called Lady Blush and it's a cream so it's really easy to blend when you put it on your um, the apples of your cheeks. So you can see I'm just dabbing from my hand, not the actual blusher, so you can get better control. The first product I'm going to use on Marilyn's eyes is a Laura Mercier Eye Basic. And it's actually a liquid, but it dries to a powder, so you can apply eyeshadow over the top. So I'm just going to apply all over the eyelid. It just gives a really nice base to work with when I'm applying eyeshadow. So the next colour I'm going to be using on Marilyn's eyes is um, a powder eyeshadow by Bobbi Brown. And again, just with a flat eyeshadow brush, you just want to load the shadow up, pat off excess onto your hand. And you'll see I'm kind of pressing the eyeshadow in rather than rubbing it. So if you kind of rub it that way, then it's going to basically fall off. I'm just going to use a slightly darker colour just in the crease, which will just contour the eyes. Lift up the eyebrow and just brush the eyeshadow into the crease. And that just creates more depth to the eye. And then with the bigger brush, I'm just going to blend that colour. The next product I'm going to use on Marilyn's eyes to define them is a Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner. You want to get it right close to the lash line and then just press the brush just right above the lash line but touching it because you don't want a gap. You can always take it slightly thicker just on the outer corner. So where I've applied the dark black line, I'm just actually going to add a little bit of really dark brown eyeshadow just over the top. I'm just going to put a little bit of shadow just under Marilyn's eyelash line. I'm just using the colour that we used as the crease colours. I'm going to apply some black mascara. So I'm just using this wand to get right to the root. I'm just going to put a little bit just on the lower lashes as well. Just in the corner here, I'm going to use a highlighting shadow. This is a MAC one, frost colour, and just a tiny, tiny amount just really opens up the eye. I'm just going to use a little bit of high cream highlighter just around this area and again just pat on with your fingers. So I'm just going to start um, lining all of the lips with um, a lip liner. This is a Laura Mercier one called Baby Lips. Okay, when you're applying the lip liner just use a dry lip brush just to blend it in. And if the lips are really dry, just use a lip balm before. And now I'm gonna just apply the really sheer lip tint by Elizabeth Arden called Blush. And again, the best place, if you're in a shop trying to look for a bridal lip color, the best place to actually try them is on your fingertip, because that's actually the closest color to your natural lip color. This is a really nice, fresh, pinky color, which will look really nice if you are wearing a pale dress. It'll just give your lips a nice bit of color so you don't look too washed out. And then just just blending it all in, your finished look. 